nine. Tune in every time. We don't do no cap. Report only facts. The Progress Report. Yo, what's good? This is Murph from Alani Taylor. Shout out to the Progress Report all day. All right, what's going on? It's your girl, Lala Shepard. Boss Britt, the most lit. What's up? It's your girl, DJ Excel. This is the Progress Support Podcast, where we got our next special guest in the building. Go ahead and introduce yourself. What's good, everybody? This is Murph, designer of Alani Taylor. That's what's up. That's the what's up. Welcome the game, to the show. Yes, yes, welcome please. Welcome to the show. Yeah, Definitely, man. Yeah, we saw your resume. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. Let's go ahead and just start from the top. Name man. drop. You know, few. name drop some people that you work with and what you do for them exactly. I hate name dropping, man. You gotta Girl, do it. What name drop it. for you if you want to say Everybody, see, right? everybody does work. fashion nowadays. So sometimes you gotta, you know. Yeah. Well, it's not like you bringing it up. We asking. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're right. We um, asking you to name drop. I mean, I design for some people. <laughs> oh, we gonna just have to say the names, I guess. Yeah, I mean, cause you know, for us people, people like people always try to think that we cocky and shit. Mm. But um, yeah, I just try to work and don't really focus on the people that I touched and blessed with. My she work with Beyonce, man. Quit playing with her, man. She's trying to be humble, but Beyonce. she worked with Beyonce, Cardi B, and that's my cousin, Cardi the baby. B, the baby. That's your cousin? Uh, that's my fake cousin, Lion, Lion, <laughs> Lion, Lion King. You know what I'm saying? Cause good. that's my cousin. Cardi. <laughs> Uh, the, baby, the baby you did uh, dress for the baby's daughter recently. That's all right. I did. I did uh, the baby's dress, uh, which was probably one of the most challenging mm. jobs I had. Uh, that's a crazy ass story. And then um, from me just pretty much going into that the way that I did, uh, he kind of respected my hustle, and we started working together again. Uh, I just did his last music video. Uh, that I'm waiting mm. to come out. I can't okay, wait for that you. shit to come out. The crate, the clothes is crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm having fun, man. Like it, it's super dope to like coming from where I came from. Like from damn near nothing to like I sit back and be like, damn, fashion got me here. You know what I'm saying? Mm, right. The doors that I go into, the people that I meet, the people on my phone. Like you know, mm. these are people that I grew up looking at. Something. Yeah, Sometimes, see, she Beautiful. got Beyonce. No, <laughs> yeah, how you get connected with Beyonce, man? Cause um, like. Right. Can people even find Beyonce? Like, or, how do you are you even... getting connected to her stylist? Is that her how... stylist contacted us? Okay, that's okay. Lit, lit, that's lit. So that story comes from um, a brand that's called Deviant Levee, um, and that's Britney Duet. Uh, I was the other designer where we we kind of uh, brung a design to life that wasn't even supposed to happen. Mm. So we started playing with like ropes and shit, and when i saw it she's not a designer so she kind of like brought me in it was like yo i have this vision and nobody can bring it to life so when mm -hmm. i saw it um literally god just put me in the right place i brung the vision to life and i was like we got something here like you that's never right. gonna see this so what y'all see on beyonce and cardi that's what we did so mm -hmm. the red ropes right. we found a way to turn it into um wearable art if you want to call it and that's how we got uh, Beyonce. Her stylist had saw it in a showroom, mm -hmm. and she hit Britney up and was like, "Yo, we need some shit." Of course, she didn't tell us who it was for originally. Okay, but um, we kind of <laughs> wow. detective that right, shit out, yeah. and uh, yeah, it went from that to us working with her over and over again, and that being the um, caught the eye of uh, Cardi stylist. And that's how we got Cardi, and it's just been up from there. Once we did Lion King, crazy. Yeah. Um, I feel like our lives changed, like, mm. insanely and mm. faster than we wanted it to because we were still trying to perfect what we were doing, you know? Mm. And everybody gravitated to it and was like, yo, we need it, we need it, we need it. So we've done so many people, Tyra Banks, Tiffany Haddish, everybody's worn it, uh, Black China. Um, it, I forgot. The, it's, a, it's a lot. Are of you people. switching up the, the style? And, but it's still it's one of, still. you'll never see the same person with the same shit on okay. like mm. it when when those are created they're just made right there we got the mannequin and Brit just go ham with the ropes and shit and then something comes That's out dope. of that and one of one just, yeah you'll never see another one okay so you you said Lincoln with the baby was a yeah. crazy story can you give us that story man so the baby, uh, he put some shit on his Instagram and was like, yo, I need a stylist. Uh, I need a designer mm. um, to make my daughter dress or whatever. Don't come with me with no crazy <sighs> shit. And somebody tagged me in it. And so I saw it and I was like, All right. I, I responded to the tag and I was like, I appreciate you. But something was like, I was out with all my friends. Um, we was here. I had just moved to Atlanta. Mm. And uh, 
I was like, I, I'm like, I'm from New York, so yeah, obviously, you yeah. know, and we don't wait for shit, you yeah. know, like we, for us, our mentality is tomorrow ain't promised. So whatever comes in front of, for, for me, whatever comes in front of me, I feel like the universe put that shit there. So I saw it, I responded, and then while we eat, and I'm just like, nah, fuck that, I gotta hit him up myself. Mm-hmm. So I went into his DM and I was like, bro, um, somebody tagged me in your joint. Um, I would love to do the project for you. Check out my work. Cause he was like, don't come with me with no whack shit. Mm-hmm. Um, y'all know how the baby is. So yeah. I was like, check my workout or whatever. If you rock with it, um, I- I'll be honored to do it. And then I left it alone. He, yeah, because he gets so many messages. Yeah, it's right. kind of like right. right. So I'm we we still chopping it up and I'm I'm eating or whatever and my phone go off and I went crazy. I was like, mm. get the fuck out of here! Mm, like he really just hit me back and again, like I say, I work the I I fucks with the baby. Like I work with a lot of big names, mm. but I don't let the people or their their title gotcha. um influence the way right. that i am as a person but this dude right here mm-hmm. i can relate to him mm-hmm. so when he hit me back i went crazy and then i told my team he was like can you be here at nine o'clock in the morning i'm dead ass in atlanta he's mm-hmm. in la gotcha. and i was like yeah i already got my ticket <laughs> and so he w- i you had nothing it. bro yeah but i'm just like i'm not letting this opportunity pass me and i was like i got a ticket for my ticket i land at 11 and he was like nah that ain't gonna work um so i got my 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 creative director my assistant there and two of my other friends and i was like yo start looking for flights and he was like i can't do 11 that's too too late yeah. um and i was like i right, well i could be there at nine and again, I know if it was a nine o'clock flight or not, and I'm just speaking mm. shit into the universe. Hell yeah. And um, I, I'm still, cause I had a photo shoot the next day. So I'm still planning for my shoot as if I'm going, but I'm not, cause I'm 12 years military. So in the army, we, we do like, um, you plan as if you are, and you plan as if you aren't. So mm. I was doing both at the same time. Like if I'm gonna do it, I gotta be ready. If I'm not, I still got shit to do. So we're driving to go pick up my clothes from my style house here in Atlanta. And he was like, I bet, let's do it. And he FaceTimed me. And this is when I knew the shit was real. He FaceTimed me, so my assistant gets his phone out, start recording the shit. And he like, uh, no, what happened? Uh, the driver, his driver FaceTimed me. Hmm. And I'm like, who the fuck is this? Word. And so he was checking to make sure I ain't had, I'm not a groupie or some shit. So he was like, phone call for the baby. And he handed the baby the phone and <laughs> shit. And I, yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, all right. And um, so I'm playing it cool because I'm not starstruck. But like gotcha. when I when I feel when I fuck with people I respect, it's just like, yo, like it's this different. is dope. It's right. Yeah. It's like, but still stay you. So um, I was like, yeah, bro, I'm going. I'm um going to go do this or whatever. And his he was like, I'll go downtown to the fashion district for you. Pick out the fabric, wow. and that's dead ass what he did. Wow. He his driver took him downtown into Atlanta Fashion District. He stayed on FaceTime with me. I helped him pick out the fabrics and shit. And Damn. then, like, the, the flight that I was able to get on to get there at 9 o'clock was at 10 that night that I was talking to him. Mm. So I was telling my assistant, right like, yo, I'm not going to make it. If I go get these clothes, my, I had my daughter with me and everything. If I go get these clothes and then try to go back home, get my clothes, make it to the airport, I ain't going to make it. I was like, bro, take my daughter back to her mom. You go pick up the clothes and you take me to the airport right now. I had on fucking flip flops, one of my hoodies, and some drop crotch pants. Nothing else, and I was gone. Did you have? Did you have to bring like stuff with you? Like, so as- I, I still have. Uh, I still work back and forth from Atlanta to LA because I just moved from there. So oh, okay. I still have a team out there. So my assistant went, picked up the sewing machine, took it to his hotel, picked up everything that I needed. Um, so that when I got there, I just started That's hard. working. You know, so shout out to for the team, him, man. right? Sure. Man, I couldn't do shit without him, bro. But I think he was just like, "Yo, this girl was ready." Mm-hmm. And when after everything was over, so at, at that time I had to, the Grammys was at two o'clock in the morning, at uh, two o'clock p.m. Mm. So I got there at nine. The I had to be day. done by twelve o'clock. And was there a certain style they want? Like, how do you even? I, he just was like, I want her to look like a princess. That was mm. it. Aww. So I literally got to his hotel. It was like 9.30. I had from 9.30, he gave me to 1 o'clock. I had to, from 9.30 to 1 yeah. o'clock 
to That's create crazy. a whole fucking dress for her. So I literally was like making a dress on her body. I'll make a piece and be like, tell her, come here, measure, because I ain't have everything I usually have. Wow. And every God made it work, bro. And so after that, he texted me and he was like, yo, like, you just made my whole weekend. Like, I don't mm. give a fuck if I win one award. Like, the fact that you did this for my daughter. He had a whole red carpet for her. Yeah, I see. Which that. was that better was than the granny's so red carpet. Yeah. So, yeah, that was like a life changer. And then now it's just like mm. when he do shit, he call me. And he's like, yo, I need this done, this done, right. or whatever. And the last project, I text him. And I was like, bro, I feel like I proved myself to you already. So I would love to be the head designer for your brand. Mm. Um, nice. Well, not his brand, but his label. So for all his artists that he got. Um, and he was like, let's do it. And so that's, that's what crazy. came out of it. And nice. yeah, it's been dope. Well, congratulations. What, yeah. what made you move from LA to Atlanta? Because a lot of yeah. times people move from Atlanta to LA. True. I can't stand LA, bro. Mm. <laughs> LA is so overrated. Because you're originally like, from New York. I'm from mm. New York. And then you yeah. went to, okay. I was in the army for 12 years. And then when I got out, I moved to LA. I was there for three years. And it drained the fuck out of me. Like, wow. is it like the bouginess? Because that's what I kind of no. Like. It's the evil shit that's in the air for me. Like, I'm mm. big on energy. You know what I'm saying? And the rooms that I would be in, it, it would just drain the there, fuck man. out of me. Yeah. By the time I got home, I'll like, I just wouldn't feel right, and I would have to meditate all of that out of me. And I got tired of doing it on top of my daughter's here. So when me and my daughter's mom um, separated and went uh, filed for divorce, she moved to Atlanta. So for two years, I was doing, every single month, I would come from LA to Atlanta to see my kid. Wow. Mm. And then one day, uh, I was dropping her off, and she was like, am I not going to see you again? And I was like, I'm out. Like, wow. I can't do this shit. And she's only, she was four years old at that time. She's oh, five damn. now. She's so smart. Right? They really and are. she's like, They'll put smart as everything. Hell. You'll change your whole life. Like, <laughs> yeah. maybe so blunt. Like, <laughs> for real. you really about to leave again? <laughs> You like, right. like, God damn, I thought you ain't noticed. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't noticed. <laughs> Boy, they right, right, bro. So when she said that, I was just like, I got to go. Because nothing was keeping me in L.A. You feel right. me? Like, okay. I can work anywhere. And right. so I just okay. was like, I, I'm tired of seeing my daughter grow up. I missed a lot in two years. I'm yeah. tired of seeing her grow up on FaceTime. I miss, like, her riding a bike for the first time, her learning how to use the bathroom, mm. all of that stuff. And I couldn't take it no more. So I was just like, yo, I, this is, if this is where I got to sacrifice to see my kid, then that's what I'm going to do. So I've been here for, like, three months now. Three but months. I was stationed here for right. six years. So okay. I'm familiar with Atlanta. That's cool. So, yeah. lit, lit. And I fucks with Atlanta. Like, I love the black excellence here. Yes. The support, everything. A lot of people got other things to say about it, but it's been treating me good. So, Respect. yeah. Same. How has Atlanta changed since you last, like, been here and lived here? Um, The black excellence. I feel, I feel like the black culture has grown so much. And everybody's kind of transitioning this way really mm. fashion's facts, coming facts, over facts. here yeah. movie actors music everything is starting to transition into atlanta so more black than what hollywood. people feel yeah. right yeah. it's black hollywood i used i said it for a whole year mm. so i was just like this is I, I just feel like this is where i need to be mm. to make my mark if i can go to la and and create what i created there facts. i'm just like yo when i get to atlanta i'm kicking down doors you feel me like because even creativity man, wise like that energy will fuck with your creativity, you know, yeah. um, and, and inspiration. You yeah, know what L- I mean? LA? Yeah. Yeah, it, I, I think I kind of say myself because I, li- I would literally live in a fashion district. Like, mm-hmm. I'm there all the time. I'm a, I was around creatives when mm-hmm. I needed to be, you know, and I mean, I have a brain injury, so it's not like I go and look for shit. Like, what I make, I don't even know how I make it sometimes because mm-hmm. I'm just like, I don't know where this shit came from. I was just telling her, when she see her jacket, she gonna go crazy. Ooh. And most of the shit that I do be by accident. Like I, like today, I dropped a button on her jacket and I was like, holy shit, mm-hmm. I'm putting it right there, you know? So, That's hard. Um, That's yeah, the creativity, it comes and goes for anybody, I feel mm-hmm. like, though, yeah. How many years have you been doing fashion? Like, when did you exactly start? I started 10 years ago. 10 years ago. Yeah, so 10 years ago, I taught myself how to sew while I was in the army um, and I was, I, I was about making money, so I would deploy and be making sweatsuits and shit for the soldiers that wasn't in the <laughs> stores good. and shit. So I, when I did that, and I took it serious when my daughter was born. Mm. So in 2016, I was like, I'm going to really take this serious, and I named the brand after her. Mm. So I was like, I'm not about okay. to play with my kid's name, you know, and okay. I'm here now, so. 
What's going on? It's your girl Lala Shepard. Boss with the most lit. What's up? It's your girl DJ Excel. And look, we interview some of the biggest artists on the come up. Hey man, if you ever in Atlanta, y'all make sure y'all hit us up now. Hey, hit us up today. where so you need to be, man. A progress support DM us right now. Let's go. Yes, That's thriving. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn. What advice would you give to fashion designers? Because it's not easy. I know people right. who do fashion and they sew everything themselves. And yeah. It's not easy. So what advice would you give to up and coming fashion designers? Um, I think I'm kind of different. I don't give nobody fucking advice okay. because <laughs> I, I use the metaphor of like life because if you like think about it, like you in an abusive relationship, right? She and is. I'm your best friend. <laughs> <laughs> You touched her heart. You touched her heart. Like, Damn, why you gotta look at me? I knew they was gonna say yeah, that. Yeah, nah. Say nah. Yeah, she wait. know energy though, so I mean. Say nah. Say nah. God forgive me. Damn, okay. That's fucking All right. Look, look, look at you. Nah, go ahead. We're just playing. So, for me, it's like, I, I, this is how I just look at life. Like, if you're in an abusive relationship and I'm your best friend, mm-hmm. And I'm like, yo, you need to get out of that shit. That, that's my advice to you, feel me? Mm. But just because I say it to you don't mean you're going to do it. True. You're not going to so do that true. shit until so you true. ready to do it. So I don't waste my breath telling niggas shit. I allow people to be people. So if I go and be like, yo, like, here's my advice. This is not, but yo, keep going. Make sure you dedicate it. Don't quit. Don't let nobody tell you. What the fuck is that gonna do for you if you're not even motivated to be that person at this point in time? I, I wasted you. my fucking breath, you know. Be, so. so you can only Yorkers do what you're capable of doing. If you want to be a designer, yeah. be a designer. If you want to be a rapper, be a rapper. I can't give you no advice to make you say, "I'm ready." You feel me? You gotta have that shit in your own head. You and I think saying? people always, for everything, think it's one secret that they missing out on. Yes. And it don't. So it yes. just be the right. It just be the right. work that's and the true. consistency. Mm-hmm. Like Absolutely. it ain't one thing that's gonna take you. That's so true. Out of it's here. Because so even with me, even with the success that I have, I see other people that is not better than me and i'm just like Nick, like what the fuck are they doing that i'm not doing yeah. but they probably just work harder than me that's it mm-hmm. and i gotta take that you feel me i gotta work harder i gotta get up earlier which i'm not gonna do but <laughs> i until i'm ready Girl, to be struggle, you know what I'm saying? until i'm ready to be that person to get up when that nigga got up and make that money that he made then i'm gonna be where i'm so at true. you know so, so true. i can't tell nobody shit. like just Facts. when you ready you ready <laughs> So How's the industry like is it hard mm. being like lesbian black? Does it feel any different? They treat you any differently? Black. I I won't say lesbian. Um, cause I I I feel like I carry myself like I should, and I'm not trying to be nobody else, and people respect that. But being a black woman has mm. been a challenge for me, and it's crazy because being a black woman to black men is where my struggle come from. Damn. Like, Damn. I li- we I've been in different rooms with when me and Brittany. She's wh- she's a white girl. I've been in different rooms with this girl, and these are black executive CEOs that's trying to bring Deviant on board, and they will look right past me, and they'll be like, we they want the white face in and front, could- and I'm just like. Not trying to shade on Brit, but I'm just like, nigga, she not even a designer. Like, she, if you want to get some shit done, you might want to come on this side. But because I'm a black woman and it's a white girl in front of a black dude, it was just like, that's who we want. It's crazy because I feel like even now, like, let's say we had somebody to represent us. We would kind of be like, hey. You speak up for us or something just because you kind of automatically feel like they going to get a better right, response right, right yeah and that's yeah. crazy yeah the nah bro is it's not easy for black women right now it's probably easier for me to be a lesbian than for me to just be a black woman mm. Mm. period like yeah. dead ass so and i deal with that? i i create my own lane bro i'm not trying to sit in nobody table i'm trying to create cook my own food you feel me bring my own team to my own table where all all of us eat because I don't like the word no and I don't like rejection so I don't put myself in a position for you to tell me no whatever you're doing if I want to do it I'm going to create that shit myself mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying people are like like I it would be times where if I wanted to do a fashion show and they wanted me to pay like I'm not about to pay you and I am the show so I started my own fashion shows you know what I'm saying so I, I don't I've been that way all my life like if I don't feel like paying for you to paint my car, I'm going to go teach myself how to paint my car. If I don't feel like you changing my oil, I'm going to teach myself how to do it. So I've never been that person to, like, put myself in a position where somebody can be, like, yes or no to, like, my freedom or my life. 
all my money. You know what I'm saying? So I, I just create my own lane. Most yeah. most people don't see me at all. Like mm-hmm. I really be just with my team. How can we make everybody around us better? That's and dope. if it leads to having to ask somebody else for some shit, how can we, g- one of y'all go to school for it or some shit to where we ain't even got to knock on their door? Mm. Because everybody not not trying to see you win, if if especially if you win in more than they are. Like, nah. So I'm good. I came from nothing, bro. And I got myself here so I could do anything. Like, real talk. I respect it, man. You know you got my support. All day. All day. All day. We met on the humble, yeah. so yeah, we good. Like, that. So you saying uh, that the baby's going to, you know, you're going to help design everything for the team. Is he based in L.A.? I don't know where the fuck the baby is. <laughs> like, okay, he don't sit mean, still. I know he's in Charlotte, but on, he don't yeah. sit still, bro. Okay. Like, one day he'll be in L.A., then he'll be in Charlotte, then he in Miami. I don't, I mean, I'm sure he got somewhere to lay his head in every spot. So it don't so. hinder you at all being out here if he's mm-hmm. not. For, to design the, for the team question. Nah most of the time He'll hit me up Like And be like Yo I need this tomorrow Or some shit And be like, like You hit me a week No dead ass <laughs> And then He'll just be like Well I need to fly you Like I gotta yeah, make the clothes gotcha. First bro But um, yeah. Nah he, he definitely Takes care of me That's for real. Whenever he call me And he know It's like It's impossible For you to do it But I know you are gonna do it I, I'm, I'm gonna make sure You straight And he do that With his whole team I don't give a fuck What nobody say About the baby like that dude takes care of his people and oh, he loves his kids, bro. Seems like got the energy. Yeah, he loves his family, so I have nothing but respect for him all day. That's hard. Yeah. So what's next for your brand? Yeah. Um, Miami Swim Week this Friday. Uh, I'm finally I, I've been laying low for like a year since the pandemic and shit. Um, and I just I'm dropping a collection on Friday finally because a lot of people been waiting and yeah we're going to go show out over there. And whatever else comes, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be so lit, bro. The yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be fun. Money, what? bro. I'll be like, bro, it's just me. How I spend <laughs> this on just me. and one day, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo, so how do you, as a designer, set your prices? Mm. Uh, do you set your prices as with like the fabric or like the time it takes or mm-hmm. the limited amount you make? Like the labor, the labor, because. Um, the fabric don't cost shit, I promise you. Mm-hmm. It's the time that we have to put into making a pattern, cutting a pattern, making a sample, from that sample making a final garment, and that's what people paying for. And now, shit, I can say people paying for the name now, mm-hmm. which is fucking crazy. Yeah. Right. So they are paying for the name and they don't have no problem doing it. Yeah, because so. I've seen yeah. some of your jackets, they definitely fire. I'm definitely going to have to save up. But they fire. <laughs> Not they fire. I like the uh, quiet pay all that shit <laughs> down. Hey, I'll be using that after pay. pay. Okay, yeah. after pay is the okay. shit right now. All right, all right, don't bring yeah. it up. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real though. Nah, but um, what I learned is like, you know, some people's mindset be like, nah, I'm not gonna spend nine hundred on yeah, the jacket, it's right? True. But then some people be like, bruh, I know nobody's spending nine hundred, so. I I'm gonna spend this and can't nobody fuck with me. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Or not even saying it's that high because this shit way higher. And you got affordable stuff too. Yeah, I do. You know I what try- I'm saying? Like when I when I price my stuff, I promise you I priced it based off of me. Hmm. My my childhood. Mm-hmm. Because I never wanted to be that designer that like looking at myself and saying if I was this person, I didn't want to look and be like, I wish I could have that. So Mm -hmm. I feel like my prices are reasonable for the masses. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like my shit is not like two thousand dollars for a jacket where I I see some people and I know what it takes to make that. So I'm not trying to beat you in the head where I paid twenty dollars for the fabric and I'm charging you two thousand for the jacket. Um, I used to be that kid that look in like the newspapers and be like, I want that, I want that. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, no, I want to cater to to my old ch- kid, me yeah, and my brothers and people like yeah. that. And the stuff that um you do have like definitely looks super exclusive. Like it no, definitely works. I, I mean, looks it. like it's worth what you asking yeah. for for sure. So salute to you. But yeah, I always wonder what it was like. Is it the fabric or what? Because some people be taxing. I'm like, yo, this is everybody. real plain. At least look <laughs> different. You right. know what I'm saying? But that's yeah. the big brands too. So yeah. I don't know facts, what facts. they do. Like. Mm-hmm. I, I've seen some where it's just like crazy, but I, I'm not gonna be that designer. And a lot of people still say we're not gonna afford you. Like, bro, this the lowest I can give it to you. Like, I don't know what you. And they shouldn't do. even ask for the lowest though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Respecting your time and all that. Right, but how right. do you feel about like Gucci, 
charging this much. Sometimes I'll be fuck like, fuck Gucci. No. <laughs> uh, I don't give a fuck about those brands. They don't give a fuck about me, so I don't give a fuck about yeah. them. Mm-hmm. So right now, like, new designers and up-and-coming designers and shit, we really just trying to help the culture change mm-hmm. where they spend their money at. It's so many black designers so that you can be supporting. Yeah. But systematically, black people are still so trained that That's if true. you got this on, you successful. Bro, when I, I don't wear nothing that ain't mine, and I still look right. better than a nigga with a Gucci outfit on. Mm-hmm. You feel right. me? So until they ready, then we just going to keep on doing what we do. Hell yeah. But I don't care about, I don't wear nobody else shit but mine. I don't rock with Gucci or none of that. The only thing I don't have yet is sneakers on my feet. And we working on that. I was so. about to say, you probably <laughs> working on a plug. We working on that. Yeah, I big ups uh, to BB, so. Handbags. Said we got handbags we got we got everything check out the site alani taylor.com i promise you we probably got something that you need and if Spell we don't it. got it a l a n i t a y l o r.com nice. so yeah we I, i'm trying to cater to everybody so sure. yeah the support is definitely needed for us to stay open just to let y'all know stimmy <laughs> checks you right. know <laughs> spend them wisely Not but real. um and then we also trying to uh rock out for atlanta uh pride so i want to do oh, a fashion show here in pride yeah. We need to link up on that. yeah yeah look i said i told my team i said i'm gonna tell boss brit and her whole team we trying to do something for atlanta pride and as yeah. soon as she say let's link up it's already on camera it's you on can't take it back no you I mean, can't no. take it back I mean that. No. <laughs> yeah, we can, def- we can definitely set that, that up no Not for fast. real for real well we we'll bring every fucking body out no, we no, i've no. already been talking That'd to my people dope, from um, i don't know if y'all watch the tv show the shy oh, yeah. or whatever oh, yeah what so um friday actually um jasmine who plays uh the transgender Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, she's, yeah, yeah, yeah. she's no. closing for me for my show nice. and then dre robin no, uh no. she'll be uh she'll be here performing and all that shit yeah, so was that's what's up. we bringing up we bringing a oh, whole team watch the whole thing it's so yeah. good where, where is what it? i ain't never seen don't no, close no, your no, eyes, no, eyes. No, all right because it's a few shows we're gonna watch the wire right okay showtime, showtime. showtime. Yeah. 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 wow damn i ain't even about to promote my she's shit she's not cultured enough dang that's cultured but no, that ass. Like I, I definitely want to do Atlanta Pride. I feel Let's like we have it. more than enough time to come here and and do some crazy shit. So, so, damn, I was about to brainstorm with you right now. Let's, Let's do it. Up. How much time we got? Let's. I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> Now nah, we're gonna talk <laughs> off the camera. I'm looking like, wait a minute. <laughs> but nah, we're gonna definitely talk off the camera. But you know, final question from us what does the word progress mean to you? That's our key word. You know, you're a progressive person. So, what does it mean to you? Um, for me, progress means just leveling up, like always making sure that you focus, learning, educating, and enhancing yourself as a person. Because um, once you have all those things, the progress like whatever it takes for you to make that it's automatically going to come like i believe that when you work and work and working and you manifest some shit into the universe the universe don't have no choice but to give you what you deserve you know so when when you're when you're when you're doing that at the same progress fits in all of that you know it it, it takes progress to get from a to b um so just practicing that you can never lose yeah love it hell yeah what's that sound? Yeah. I hate that shit What's my sign? Don't say no. it. Oh. Ooh. We get two tries. Ooh, say don't. Is it back on me? We've been on the road tonight. We man. have been on the road. Lala, we got to kill this shit. We got to. We get two tries. Y'all just say it at the same time. Three for three. Okay. Um, if y'all guess it, I promise you I'm buying y'all a bottle. Like, Cause no I don't know what. No, no, nobody ever had to. They just asked me and shit. So. <laughs> no, she said, no, but she said that dead ass serious. Like, y'all like, childish as hell for guessing my sign right now. But we better guess really it anyway. I really want to see if y'all can do that. Okay. No. All right. Damn, I'm scared. The pressure is on. Uh, Brent, you want me to go first or you? Shit, the pressure is on. Yeah, you know what I mean? All right, all right, all right, all right. It might be your sign. It might be your sign. Like I think so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know my birthday is coming up no time soon, up. but... Okay, Capricorn. Oh, that must have been. Damn it, Excel did on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> she did that on purpose. I'm gonna say Scorpio. I can see really, that. Really, you think I'm a Scorpio? Oh, well, y'all not. That's y'all done fucked up. We still got two more. We got two more. Coming up soon. Scorpio's coming up soon. Nah, but my brother's a Leo, though. Got you. So, got you. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. So, y'all just got all count. these. They don't count just yet. 
Okay, Fuck. just think. Oh, oh, Libra. Let's go. Yeah, we oh, lit. Yeah. <laughs> Libra, <laughs> we lit. Okay, why you said? Why you said? Because you, you Libra, are. You seem like a strong. No, y'all dead ass good. Really? No. After four, y'all it's did okay. not get it right. No. And then yeah. she said, no. coming up, how many fours could be coming? How many more months could be coming up? Uh, nah, don't Libras are balanced people. Like, and you know, just kind of how you was describing certain stuff. I'm like, all right. <laughs> no, I feel like you got it right the first. <laughs> yes. I mean, we please. figured it out. She asked <laughs> for <I> said it. <laughs> So you a Libra? Yes. Got you. Oh, okay. Yeah. So now, like, all of us like still hating, but honestly, she a hater, bro. Really we did great y'all, tonight. We never y'all did it right. definitely didn't get it. So okay, we lit. Yeah, so yeah. No, wait, she said y'all didn't get no, it. No, I am a Libra. But oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm like tripping. No, 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 y'all didn't. So y'all went for a dog. Y'all said Scorpio. I said Libra was my second one. This is Leo. I want my credit. I want my credit. Yeah, they basically the odds was like anyway. Haters. Anyways, but now we appreciate you coming through tonight. And much success um, with, uh, to you. Absolutely. Yeah. Definitely. Thank you so much. Sure, no, for sure. It for real. Cool, man. Yeah. What's the practice part? Yeah, we out. What's going on? It's your girl Lala Shepard. Boss Brit the most lit. What's up? It's your girl DJ Excel. And look, we interview some of the biggest artists on the come up. Hey, man, if you ever in Atlanta, y'all make sure y'all hit us up now. Hey, hit us up today. It's where you need to be, man. A progress support. DM us right now. Let's go. We ain't stay at nine. Tune in every time. We don't do no cap. Report only facts. Progress report. We got the news. No interviews. We got the stats. Keep it a rack. Don't join the pack. Know where we at. We ain't stay at nine. Tune in every time. We don't do no cap.